This is React Casts Episode 6 Redux Middleware. Redux is the most popular state management library for React. You know the drill. Redux provides a store that holds your application state tree. The store then provides a dispatch mechanism and lets you register reducers. In your application, as stuff happens, like the user clicks a button, for example, you dispatch actions and they reach your reducers to update the state tree. A nice functional unidirectional data flow. If any of these is new to you, I suggest you take some time to properly learn Redux and get back to this screencast later. I wrote a beginner-friendly introduction to Redux. The link is on the show notes. Now, moving on, one of the most interesting and perhaps most underused features of Redux is middleware. What is a middleware? Well, it's an instrument in Redux that lets you add custom functions to extend the library. Cool, isn't it? You see, when you register a middleware function with the Redux store, it will sit in the middle between the dispatch function and the reducers. When an action gets dispatched, your middleware function is invoked before the action reaches the reducers. This gives you the power to execute any arbitrary code during the dispatch and, most importantly, this gives you the power to make changes to the action or even dispatch new actions. Despite being so useful, very few developers actually write custom middleware for their projects. However, it is very popular among library authors. Redux Thunk, Redux Saga, Apollo Client, just to name a few, are all built as middlewares. So, you may never have written custom middleware functions yourself, but if you use it any of these libraries, you use it middlewares. Let's change that. Let me show you how to create custom middlewares with a few examples that you might find useful. I already have a basic React and Redux project here. It's a to-do list. Yeah, at some point I had to use one. I can create to-dos, toggle, delete. You can also change the visibility filter here. Let's take a brief look at the source code. Here are the action creators, add to do, remove to do, toggle to do, and set visibility filter. All synchronous actions. I have two reducers, to do's and visibility filter. The Redux store is being created here on the index.js file. To make things simple, here's also where we are going to create our custom middleware. So, let's get started with our first middleware. Now, a middleware is a carried function with this signature, a function that receives store, returning a function that receives next, returning a function that receives action. Wait, what? What the heck is this? Well, we've discussed carried functions before. A carried function is a function that accepts one single parameter at a time returning another function that accepts another single parameter, and so on and so forth, until all of the parameters are provided. If this wasn't a carried function, we could simply write like this. Redux requires the middleware functions to be carried because, internally, these functions will be composed and partially applied a few times. So, back to the correct form. Let's talk about all of these parameters here. The store and the action parameters are easy the current Redux store and the current action being dispatched. Now, the next parameter is really interesting. It is a function that you call when your middleware is done executing, passing the action to the next middleware or reducer function. This means that middlewares can be asynchronous. But first, let's start with a simple example. Our first example will be an action logger. It just logs out the action being dispatched. Let me rename these for logger middleware. Then I will console.log the current action being dispatched. Finally, I will call next with the current action to assure the action continues its flow and reaches any other middlewares and the reducers. Okay, the middleware is done. Now we need to configure the store to use it. This can be done using Redux apply middleware method. Simply import this method from Redux here and use it together with create store to extend the store with the desired middleware. So apply middleware, logger middleware. Let's test this on the browser. You see, as I create a new to do or check some here 
or delete one, all of the actions gets logged on the console. Cool, we just inject custom code in the middle of the dispatch process using apply middleware. Okay, this was a first good example of how to create your custom middlewares. There are already lots of cool and complete logger middlewares available on GitHub. So let's try creating something a little more specific and useful for this project in particular. In this to-do application, notice that I can not only check a to-do is complete, but I can also delete to-dos. What I want to do here is add confirmation to the delete action. So it asks if the user is absolutely sure he wants to go on delete. There are a few different ways I could implement this, but a middleware is a very elegant one. So back on my index.js, I will create a confirmation middleware carried function equals store next action. Now, we do not want this middleware to work for every action. It will first check if the action has a property should confirm. So if action dot should confirm, let's do the else part first. If the action does not contain a should confirm property or if it contains but it is false, I'll do nothing and just call the next function. Remember that calling the next function with the action is the middleware way of saying, I'm done. Keep going with this action. Now, back to the if statement. I want to ask the user to confirm if he wants to do this action. In our example, I've just used the built-in window.confirm function. It's not pretty, but it's simple. You can obviously create something more sophisticated if you want. So, if confirm, are you sure? And if the user confirms, I'll call next with the current action. If the user doesn't confirm, the next function won't get called and this action won't reach the reducers. For all practical matters, it's like it's been cancelled. How to use it? Easy. Just add a should confirm property to any action we want to confirm. On my action creators file, on remove to do, I'll just add should confirm true. And that's all. Let's test. See, if I try to delete a to-do, it confirms first. And if I cancel, the action simply does not propagate any further. Cool, isn't it? Now, I feel no Redux middleware tutorial is done if it doesn't go through some sort of asynchronous middleware. So, as a final example, I will create a promise middleware. You pass a promise in, and it will hold your action without dispatching. When the promise finally resolves, then it dispatches the original action with the promise results attached. Now, I'll start with a new current function here, promise middleware. Next, I'll check if the action contains a promise key. If it doesn't, I'll just call next with the current action. Now, if it is a promise, I'll call promise then, parse the JSON. Yeah, I'll just assume here it tries to load a JSON. Call then again and dispatch the original action type, but adding the response. For simplicity, I won't do error handling here, because, well, the idea is the same. The middleware is done. How to test it? Well, starting with the constant file, I will add a fetch to do const. Next, on my to do's reducer, I will import the fetch to do const that I just created, and if the action is dispatched, I will simply populate my state with the response. Okay, everything is wired up, but I still need to dispatch an action. So I will open my app container here. I will import fetch to do. It is already a container file augmented with connect, so it has access to dispatch. I will add a component did mount lifecycle method here. Then I would dispatch an object directly here for the sake of testing. An object with type fetch to do and a promise. Now, the promise will be returned by the fetch method. I'm fetching from one of the many backend implementations from todobackend.com. It's a site that showcases backend implementations with different stacks using to do as an example. Let's test, and it works. As my application mounts, it already loads a bunch of to do items. Do you see how this middleware can be useful? I can use it for the whole application data fetching if I want. Again, 
Redux middleware provides an extension point between dispatching an action and the moment it reaches the reducer. It is used by lots of libraries, but it can also be very useful for solving specific problems in your app in an elegant and reusable way. You just watched an episode of ReactCasts. If you like these videos, please subscribe. And if you already did, I'd like to ask for a favor. Please share the channel link with a coworker or a friend who is also into React. Thanks! I'd also like to thank our sponsor Netlify. It's like hosting with benefits. Go claim your free plan at netlify.com. See you on the next episode.